Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. First things first, just quickly want to say that the I Am That Duck t-shirt campaign that we were doing is now over, as is the Home Sweet Home poster campaign. We are now working on producing all those orders, so we're manufacturing them, and then we will be sending them out as soon as possible. So look forward to that. That's not what this video is about though, okay? This video is about Infinite Warfare Zombies. Specifically, it's about the fact that we already know, and the date today, I'm checking my phone just to make sure that I'm not dreaming, is the 29th of November, and we already know the release date for DLC 1 for Infinite Warfare. And as such, we already know when we're going to be getting our first map pack that contains a Zombies map, it contains the first expansion of the Zombies saga for Infinite Warfare. But why do we know this? Well, my man, the man with the plan, Lee Ross, okay, <laughs> has tweeted out the following. And by the way, I need to give a quick shout out to my boy Chucky, okay? Because Chucky must have been just on the buzzer today. And he saw Lee Ross's tweet and he was like, you know what? I think Milo might want to know that information, so I'm going to link it to him. So I was like, thank you, Chucky, you legend. But anyway, someone called The First Wolf Zombies in Spaceland said to Lee on Twitter, do you have a release date for DLC 1, Gavna? By the way, love the new game mode, it's amazing. And Lee responds, he responds this damn early and says January 31st, first on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Pro. Read in like a trailer. <laughs> so it seems like around about what, like 63 days from now, something like that, we're going to be getting the official release of DLC 1, which means that the poster okay, that is inside the Afterlife Arcade in Zombies in Spaceland that says coming soon, that is going to be realized in 63 days time. We are going to be playing whatever that experience is. Now, I want to talk very briefly about what we're expecting for DLC 1 because I feel like just making a video about the date would be completely warranted, but I might as well try and add a little bit of Mr. Ruffle Waffle's flair here and talk about the things that I can foresee happening. So, Right now, I have listened to every single quote from Willard Wyler in Zombies in Spaceland, and to be honest, the guy doesn't really say very much. He talks more about just completely random, uninteresting topics than he does about anything that actually propels the story forwards, really, and so there's not much that we can glean from him, certainly in my opinion. However, there are, I guess, a couple of hints here and there from around the map, from the Hoff, for example, and from general messaging that we've had from Lee Ross, from Brian Bright, and other members of the Infinite Warfare Zombies team, or really of the Activision press team, that have given us some kind of indication as to where we're going to be going with things, okay? So, DLC Zero, or the base map, Zombies in Spaceland, features these four characters in its introduction, right? They are actors, and those actors are sucked into the silver screen, as Lee Ross says, and they then become actors for the Zombies in Spaceland film. It's a new film belonging to Willard Wyler. He is directing it, and his plan is that the characters should die in the film, and then he would have an amazing film to show the world because it would have loads of blood and loads of gore and loads of realistic death scenes and stuff like that. So that's the idea in Willard's head. But obviously that doesn't happen. We get to the end of the Easter egg, we get a piece of soul key, which is really interesting, and then nothing happens, which is a little, I guess, disappointing, maybe. Certainly we haven't found any outro cutscene just yet, and it certainly seems like there isn't one. So, what we can expect to happen is we're going to get to maybe mid-January and the hype train will start building up again for Infinite Warfare Zombies' first map pack and whatever the new map is going to be called, okay? That's when we should start expecting sort of teasers and trailers and things like that and amongst that hype train building, we might, just might, if we're lucky, get the intro cutscene to the next map. So they released the Zombies in Spaceland intro a little early and we saw those characters and we got introduced to the story just a little bit and they may do the same for DLC 1. And if so, I think it's a completely logical prediction that the characters are going to leave Spaceland just as they've talked about so much over the course of all the marketing that they have done for the mode. They're going to leave Spaceland but they're going to go to another film. And we're thinking right now that it's probably going to be something like maybe like a pirate-themed film, or a western film, or who knows where it's going to be, but it's most likely going to be some kind of cliché genre that they can really explore and pull all of the, I guess, kind of tropes out of and really make it into 
not tacky, that's not the word I'm looking for, but just a very cliched experience, really. I think that the idea as we go through the DLC season is that we'll also be getting bits of Soul Key, and there's a reasonable chance that we'll be bringing that urn with us as well, because that urn is obviously so important for some reason. We don't really know why, but that Soul Jar is obviously going to have some kind of use, surely, right? And so it wouldn't surprise me if we pick that up and bring it on our travels, or in the next map, if the Pack-a-Punch is that same theatre room again, and we can go back to it, and we can maybe put a key into the Soul Jar, or we can do something like that. That wouldn't surprise me, but I guess a counter-argument to that would be that you've already got that box where the arcane cores go, and... It's already been filled up in Zombies in Spaceland, if you've done the sticker pack. So, it wouldn't really make sense for us to then do that again in another map. Like, surely they would implement new features rather than just copying old features. <laughs> Black Ops 3! <laughs> um, like, they're not going to repeat stuff by all means, right? So, I'm thinking that it's unlikely that we would go back to that same room, but the Soul Jar has to come through with this. Surely, I reckon so. So... There's other questions that we have, like what the big easter egg in that room is, because Lee Ross has hinted that in the Pack-a-Punch room there is some kind of big easter egg that we are yet to find. It might be something to do with the actual theatre itself that's sort of outside the projection room. That's by all means possible, like it would be cool if you could activate something and maybe like a load of people came into the theatre, or you started watching a certain little movie on the screen or something like that, that would be really cool. But... I reckon that what Lee was referring to there is something that we've actually already solved, talking about Mephistopheles and basically the cipher that is written on the floor around that ritual circle, which we see in the intro cutscene as well, but in the intro, I believe, if memory serves, it's a different cipher that I've actually got solved on Cronorium.com. Actually, I'm not sure if I've updated the site just yet. It'll be up soon if not. But anyway, lots of codes, lots of ciphers, stuff like that. Well, I say lots, basically like two or three. So not very many at all, but some at least, which are giving us a little bit of an inkling towards where the story is going. But an extreme lacking in real depth in Zombies in Spaceland, certainly, that I'm really hoping is fleshed out and has some meat put on its bones for DLC 1. Bones? DLC 1? Skeletons? Is it too early for that? <laughs> they did skeletons for DLC 1 in Black Ops 3. Are they going to do it again here? We'll see. Anyway, I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Thanks for watching the video, guys. DLC 1's coming out on the 31st of January. Mark it down in your calendars. It's a Tuesday. Coming out first on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro, which is obviously how it's always going to be because that's the way that Call of Duty is these days with the marketing deal with Sony. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, guys. Thanks to Chucky for giving me the heads up about this. And thanks to my boy Lee Ross for giving us the intel. It's so damn early. Like, thinking about it, okay? We had, I believe, the Nikolai Memory segment release. In fact, yes, I've just checked the date. It was the 18th of December last year. That was the earliest that we had ever really had programming in advance of a map pack, as far as my memory serves, at least. And now, basically three weeks earlier than that, Lee Ross is just on Twitter like, yeah, DLC 1, 31st of January, lads. Get excited. <laughs> like, I love it, but it's just such a big change. Well, I guess it's kind of a big change. We probably won't see any actual trailers until, like, mid-January, probably, unless they're going to give us some kind of new direction for their marketing campaign and actually give us a load of story content for the map pack, which would be amazing. But I'm kind of doubtful that they're going to do that because I don't think that the Infinite Warfare marketing budget is as big as Black Ops 3 was. As sad as it sounds, just doesn't really feel like it. So anyway, I've missed the Ruffle Waffles. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Like I've said, leave a comment if you've got anything to sound off on in the comment section. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.